Hello everyone and welcome back to Cute Crochet. My name is Sri and in today's video I am going to show you how to make these beautiful sunflower coasters. They are so simple and easy to make and you can make one of them in just 10 minutes or so. So you can make an entire set of them in just about an hour. I am also going to show you how to make this cute basket they come in and this makes the perfect gift for any occasion especially for spring and summer. So let's get started. I am starting with my brown yarn for the center of my sunflower. Start by making a magic circle. To do that, wrap your yarn up and over your finger like so, forming a cross in the front. Then, insert your hook underneath the cross. Take the yarn from the other side and pull through. Then, yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. And that finishes the magic circle that we are going to work into. Then, chain 3. This will act as your first double crochet and also bring you up to the height of the other double crochets. Next, we are going to actually make double crochets into the magic circle. To make a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the magic circle and pull up a loop. You will have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first 2. You will have 2 loops on your hook now. Yarn over and pull through 2 again and this will complete your double crochet stitch. Let's do that again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the magic circle and pull up a loop. 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through 2. Yarn over, pull through 2. That makes 3 double crochets including that first chain 3. Now we are going to make 13 more double crochets into the magic circle for a total of 16. You'll notice that I'm working over this tail as I go and you can pull on it to cinch the circle a little bit if you need to. Once you have finished making all 16 double crochets, pull on this tail again to cinch the center circle completely closed. Then we are going to slip stitch on top of the third chain of the first chain 3 to join and this will bring you to the end of round 1. For round 2, again chain 3 to start. This will act as your first double crochet. Then place one more double crochet into that same stitch on the third chain of the first chain 3 of the previous round. Then into the next stitch make two double crochets. It might be a little bit deformed because of that first chain 3 but you can get in there. Then again in the third double crochet make two double crochets. In this way, continue to make 2 double crochets in each of the stitches all the way around. Here, I am almost at the end of round 2. I am making 2 last double crochets into that last stitch. Then slip stitch on top of the third chain of the first chain 3 to join and this brings you to the end of round 2. At the end of round 2 you will have 32 double crochet stitches. Now we are done with the brown color yarn for the center of our flower. So chain 1 and fasten up leaving a little bit of tail for weaving in. For round 3 bring in a yellow yarn for the petals of the flower. Then wrap your yarn on your crochet hook like so and then insert your crochet hook into any one of the stitches of the previous round. It really doesn't matter which one. I just like to avoid the one where I just fastened up. Then make a slip stitch into that stitch and that will join your new color nicely. Then start by making a chain 3. This will act as your first double crochet as usual. 
Bring that yarn tail to the back so that we can work over it and then make one more double crochet into that same stitch. Then chain 4. Then into the next stitch make 2 double crochets. Let's consider this as our first shell. Then we are going to skip the next two stitches and then into the third stitch make two double crochets. Then chain four and then in the next stitch two double crochets. Then again skip the next 2 stitches and in the 3rd stitch make 2 double crochets then chain 4 and then 2 double crochets into the next stitch. Continue repeating like this all the way around. Skip 2 stitches in the next stitch, 2 double crochets, chain 4, again in the next stitch, 2 double crochets. Be careful when you reach the place where we had fastened off in the previous round. It's easy to overlook a stitch on top of that chain 3 but make sure to count that as well. I'll finish this round in the same way and then I'm going to meet back up with you. Here I'm at the end of round 3, now slip stitch on top of the third chain on the first shell to join. You should have 8 shells all the way around. For round 4, directly start by making 1 double crochet into that chain 4 space. Then continue to make 4 more double crochets into that same chain 4 space for a total of 5 double crochet. Push all of the double crochets together so that they occupy only one half of the chain 4 space. Then chain 2. Slip stitch into that second chain from your hook and this will form a picot. This is what will give you a better pointed look. Now make 5 more double crochets into that same chain 4 space. Then make a slip stitch in that space in between the two shells to join. And that is one petal of your flower complete. We are going to repeat this all the way around. In that next chain 4 space again make 5 double crochet picot, 5 double crochet. In case of this project a picot is chain 2 and then slip stitch into the second chain from your hook. Then again slip stitch in between the two shells to join. Continue making petals like this in each of the chain 4 spaces all the way around. Here I finished making a petal in that last chain 4 space. 
Now I'll make one last slip stitch in between the last two shells and then I'm going to chain one and fasten off my yarn leaving a little bit of tail for weaving in. I'm weaving in all the yarn tails at the back with the help of a smaller crochet hook. Now we can go ahead and cut the excess yarn. We have already worked over the brown tails so we can cut them as well. And here is our completed coaster. I am going to make 5 of them as I said. Next I am going to show you the basket they are going to come in. You can also block these coasters if you want to but I usually never tend to do that. I simply pull on the corners a little bit so that they are in shape. For the basket, I am using a green color yarn to make it look like leaves I guess. Start by making a magic circle in the same way as before. The first two rounds of the basket and the flower are exactly the same. Start by making a chain 3 and then 15 more double crochets into that magic circle for a total of 16 double crochets including that first chain 3. After making the 16 double crochets, since the center circle completely closed and then slip stitch on top of that third chain on the first chain 3 to join and that brings you to the end of round 1. For round 2, chain 3 to start and then one more double crochet into that same stitch. Then continue to make 2 double crochets in each of the stitches all the way around. At the end of round 2, you should have 32 double crochet stitches. At the end of round 2, slip stitch on top of the third chain of the first chain 3 to join. For round 3, chain 3 to start. Then in the next double crochet, place 2 double crochets. In the next stitch, place 1 double crochet. And then in the next stitch, again place 2 double crochets. Continue repeating the sequence of 1 double crochet, 2 double crochets, 1 double crochet, 2 double crochets all the way around. Here I am almost at the end of round 3, I am making 2 double crochets into that last double crochet. Then slip stitch on top of that third chain of the first chain 3 to join. At the end of round 3 you should have 48 double crochet stitches. For round 4 again chain 3 to start. Into the next stitch make 1 double crochet. Then into the next double crochet, make 2 double crochets into the same stitch. Then make 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches. Then 2 double crochets into the next stitch. Continue repeating like this, 1 double crochet into the next 2 stitches and then 2 double crochets into the next stitch all the way around. At the end of round 4 you should have 64 double crochet stitches. At the end of round 4, slip stitch on top of the 3rd chain of the 1st chain 3 to join. This will be the base of our basket. For round 5 we are going to be making 3 double crochet clusters. For that chain 2 to start. Then. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop. You will have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two but do not complete that stitch. Again yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two. When you have 3 loops on your hook like this, yarn over, pull through all 3 
and that finishes your first three double crochet cluster. Chain one as a spacer. Then we are going to skip the next stitch and into the next stitch we are going to again make one three double crochet cluster. Yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Again, do that two more times. When you have four loops on your hook like this, yarn over and pull through all four, and that finishes your three double crochet cluster. Chain one spacer and then skip one stitch and into the next stitch again make one cluster. Continue making like this. Cluster, chain one, skip one stitch, cluster, chain one, all the way around. I'm going to finish this and meet back up with you. Here I'm almost at the end of round five. I'm making the last cluster. Don't forget to make the last chain one and then slip stitch on top of that first cluster to join. At the end of round five, you should have 32 three double crochet clusters and 32 chain one spaces. You'll notice that the side of your basket will already start to curl up like this. For round six, again chain three to start. Then make one double crochet into that next chain one space. Then one double crochet on top of the three double crochet cluster. Again one double crochet into the chain one space. And one double crochet on top of the three double crochet cluster. Continue repeating like this all the way around. I am going to finish this and meet back up with you. Here I am almost at the end of round six. One last double crochet on top of the last cluster. And then one double crochet into the last chain one space. Then slip stitch on top of the third chain of the first chain three to join. At the end of round six, you should again have 64 double crochets. Now I'm gonna check and see if my coaster fits in here nicely. And sure enough, it does nice and snug. I want to fit five coasters into this basket, but now it fits only three. So we have to make the size a little bit taller. For round 7, I am making another round of 3 double crochet clusters. So, it will be the same thing as round 5. Cluster, chain 1, skip 1 stitch, cluster, chain 1, all the way around. I am going to finish this round and meet back up with you. Here I am at the end of round 7, 32 clusters and 32 chain 1 spaces. I am going to finish off the basket with a round of single crochets. Chain 1 and then single crochet into that first cluster. Then single crochet into the next chain 1 space, again into the next cluster and then again into the next chain 1 space and continue repeating like this all the way around. If you want your basket to be taller, you can make a round of double crochets and then again a round of clusters, then again a round of double crochets until your basket is tall enough for all your coasters. In the end, slip stitch on top of the first single crochet to join. And then chain 1 and fasten off. I'm going to weave in that tail using a smaller crochet. You can go ahead and snip this tail because it already has been woven in. I am aligning the sides to make it nice and circular. A basket of this size should easily fit 5 coasters in it. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.